welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I am going to be showing you guys what I am planning on wearing this upcoming spring. This video is going to be a mix of a Princess Polly try on haul as well as some styling. So I'm going to show you guys everything I got. I'm going to try everything on, including what I'm wearing right now. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys like some kind of outfits that I have planned for the springtime. So I started shopping on a Princess Polly during the pandemic. I remember the day they reached out to me and wanted to do a video together. I was like screaming, crying, doing a backflip because I had been watching all of my favorite influencers for years shop there. And I also have this obsession with Australian style and Princess Polly is an Australian boutique. And over the past two years, I've been working with them on videos. I love their stuff just as much as the first day that the first package arrived at my house. And I'm so excited to show you guys spring 2022, what I am going to be wearing. So I have everything behind me here. I literally turned my apartment into a little clothing boutique. It's so fun. And for anyone who might be new, I live in Montreal, so spring here is a little bit different than spring in a lot of places. And the fact that we don't really have spring. Spring here is a funny mix of springish weather, warmer days, and really cold days like today actually where it snows. <laughs> it's supposed to be spring and it's minus 20 and it's snowing. So everything that I bought, I made sure it's stuff that I can start wearing right away. I didn't wanna show you guys a spring haul full of things that if you live in a colder climate like me that you won't be able to wear. The other thing that's really important to me when I show you guys clothes is that these clothes are accessible for my fellow Canadian girls. Now we all know as Canadians the struggle of shopping online. You know, you have to pay extra for shipping, you have to pay extra for duties when it arrives at the door. It can be really complicated. Shopping in USD and then converting everything, having a surprise at the checkout. But what I love about Princess Polly is you don't have any of that when you shop. You get to choose your currency and you get to prepay shipping and duties and there is free shipping over $75. So it makes for a really seamless online shopping, which is kind of rare in Canada unless you're shopping like a Canadian brand. Um, so to be able to get fabulous Australian fashion easily here is, is amazing. So thank you to Princess Polly for working with me on this video, you guys. Thank you for watching. And I think I've talked enough. Let's get into the haul. Like I said, the first half of this video is going to be the try on. So you guys are gonna be getting my first impression on all of these clothes. I wanna let you know that I just had lunch. So you're also getting my belly full impression, which is so important because how many times do we buy clothes and then, you know, they're cute and then you go for lunch, you go for dinner and you're like, that's what happens to me. So I made sure, we're gonna make sure that all of these are post eating appropriate and that they're comfortable because I work from home and that is just like so important for me. More than having an outfit look cute on Instagram, what's important for me is that I can wear it and feel comfortable. So, so far this outfit has been so good. I am wearing these asymmetrical jeans. This is my first time ever having asymmetric jeans and I love them. And this crop top here. The crop top, I am wearing a nude uh, strapless bra underneath because I think it might be a little bit see-through. Let me test. Actually, I think this might be fine. No, it's a bit dark. <laughs> I'm not quite at free the nipple stage yet, but this crop top is amazing. It's really comfortable. I love the high neck. As someone with a bigger chest, I just find the high neck to be really, really flattering. You wouldn't even necessarily need a strapless bra with this one. You could wear like a regular bra and yeah, it's so cute. Love the high back. It's just very, very casual. I got this in a size six. Most of the tops I got in a size six so that they would fit my chest. Uh, some of them I might have sized down so that I can wear without a bra, but we'll talk about that individually. Now these jeans are really cool. They're like a straight leg um, cut. They're perfect in length. I will show you guys a picture um, of the length. They're super, super perfect. They fit my phone really comfortably in the back pocket. And I like how they look from behind. I'm not huge on having like my jeans be really tight, mostly because I have no butt. So I've just learned to love like the kind of looser look. And I find that really, really comfortable. These jeans fit really well. I read the reviews before purchasing them to help me determine my size. And I actually got a size four in them and there's a lot of room. This is how I want my jeans to fit you guys because when I'm sitting all day, I need them to be comfortable. So you can definitely get your regular size or size down with these. 
and I know I'm gonna be getting so much wear out of them. The material is just soft and yeah, I'm really, really happy. I love the asymmetric look. It makes it look a little bit different from, <laughs> I'm losing my balance, from the other pairs of jeans that I have. Okay, let's switch tops now. So this next top is very Canadian spring to me. So it's Canadian spring because it's a nice light color. It's a bit of a thicker material, but you could totally wear this like in the summer with shorts or right now, like I'm doing with jeans. I love the sleeves, how they are like loose and then super tight. And this part here, you can actually control. So you could make it even more together if you want. You can pull it apart. I like how I have it here. Um, and you can pull it all the way flat, actually. So this I really, really super like. I would probably wear a bra with it that doesn't show here. So like a very plunging bra or bralette. I think that's how I would wear this. But this is a big win. I really, really like this. And I got a size small to medium in this top. This next top is super interesting. It is super, super tight. I feel like I need to lift my boobs up a bit in it. That's better. It's really tight, but it's like a stretchy, comfortable tightness. I got this top in a small medium and I think I maybe could have sized up one, but it's really cute. I like these details in the front. It's definitely boobalicious, um, but I like how tight it is. I like the high back and then this kind of exposed front without showing too, too much cleavage. Like it's not pushing my boobs up. I'm very self-conscious about my boobs. And then here I am talking about them so much on the internet. But anyways, I find this really flattering. This top is definitely a win and I really like it. Could also see myself wearing this with shorts when it gets a little bit warmer outside. Okay, this next top, unfortunately, is a bit of a fail. I think I could get it altered to fit me, but I was sized up in this. I got a size eight, which was risky. Like I was between getting a six or an eight, and I just wasn't sure. Sometimes the six doesn't quite fit my chest, and with these tops that have the pre sort of boob outline, I usually need a little bit bigger, but you can see from the side, it's really gaping. However, I love the look of this top. So I'm gonna see if I can go to the tailor and actually get this like taken in a little bit. I think if I got it taken in here on the sides, it would work perfectly and there's a zipper, so it should be fine. The straps are adjustable, but pulling up the straps wouldn't make too much of a difference. It would still be kind of gapy in the front, but this top is gorgeous. So I would really love for it to work. I think this with like a cardigan over top while it's still cooler outside, or even this with a pair of sweatpants would be a really, really cool look and definitely with black pants. So we'll try that later. Here we have another little white top, but this one fits perfectly. I'm not wearing a bra. This is called the Pamelia top, which I kind of thought the name was cute. And it's so casual, but so cute. Like sweatpants, jeans, cardigan, jacket, like whatever it may be, I feel like this tank top would do the trick. I love how the end is kind of bra looking, just kind of loose like that. And this is what it looks like from the back. Like just this outfit right now with this top and the jeans I think is perfect. Um, and in the meantime, while it's still cold, I would throw a little cardigan over top or maybe a big leather bomber jacket. Got one of those from the thrift store last year. Okay, if you guys can't tell, tiny tops are my favorite from Princess Polly. This black one is really similar to the white one I had on earlier, but it's a little bit different. There's like a thicker edge around here. And this one is actually made with sustainable ingredients. It's, or <laughs> sustainable materials. It's part of Princess Polly's Earth Club line that's made with more sustainable. I was gonna say ingredients again, wow. It's the same kind of vibe with the high front, high back. You can go braless in this. This is my favorite thing to wear, sweatpants, jeans, whatever it may be. I just really love this look. Also, I think with leggings, this would be really perfect as well. So you guys can probably tell that these tiny tops from Princess Polly are my absolute favorite. Now, you can buy tiny tops from a lot of places. I just find that these ones support my chest in the best way. I'm talking so much about my breasts. It's insane, but that is, for me, that's like my problem area when picking out clothes. So it's important for me to make sure I'm dressing according to that. By problem area, I mean it causes me the most problems when I'm trying on clothes. So 
Princess Polly stuff is good enough quality that it can actually support your chest and you don't need to wear a bra. You don't have tons of lines going on and I really like that. It's also just good quality and it lasts more than one season. I've bought clothes from a lot of other places that you know I wear it for the spring or the summer and then that's it. It's not really good anymore. Um, and a lot of these have just lasted me very long. So I'm gonna show you guys. I actually pulled some of my other Princess Polly favorites that I'm gonna show you in the styling segment. But yeah, that's why I got so many of these little tops because they're just perfect for my wardrobe and for my needs when I'm getting dressed. Now, the next thing I wanna show you guys is this really thick and delicious cardigan. It's really, really soft. I'm excited to try it on. I've been talking about how it's cold in Montreal and then showing you guys all these tiny tops. So when I was shopping, I knew I wanted to add this open uh, cardigan with like a deep plunge. So whether it's buttoned up or open, you know, I can show off a lot of those cute new tops that I got um, and wear them even when it's colder. I like to layer like this because sometimes like I get warm while I'm working or I come in from a walk with my dog and then I'm all hot. So I'll take off the cardigan um, and then, you know, gets chilly again so I can put it back on. But let me show you how this looks. This is so cute. It gives me kind of like vintage grandpa vibes. Look at these pockets. They're amazing when you don't need to wear a jacket. You could just like stick your phone in there, stick your keys in there. I think it's perfect. It's so soft and comfy. And I went one size up with this cardigan because I really wanted that oversized look. I got a size medium large. This cardigan is amazing. Now allow me to introduce to you my favorite top ever times two because this is the second time I buy this shirt just in a different color. This is from the Sportif collection, which I will show you later. I have three of my favorite pieces from and I saw that they launched this tank top in green. I had to have it. I just had to. This tank top is so supportive. You feel so snatched when you wear it. And I love this like sporty cut in design in the front. I think it's so cute. And on the back, it has this cool like patch. So I like the branding on this. I think this looks good with these jeans, but I think it would also look really, really amazing just with a pair of leggings. That's how I like to wear the other one or with a pair of sweatpants. Let's cut right away to the next thing that I got because I kind of had the idea of actually wearing these together. I got this green oversized cozy sweater. This is another one that I already owned, but I owned it in gray. It's called the Florida sweater. I love the name of it, but I wanted to get another one because I love my gray one so much. Um, and then I thought it would be fun to do like a green on green and I think my plan worked. I like how this looks. This is the comfiest, fleeciest sweater you will ever find. You can see it's quite large, so to wear with leggings is really, really fun, or with biker shorts. And it's got these big, deep pockets that are fleecy lined. The whole sweater is fleece lined, but it has this sort of extra layer at the front so that when it falls open, it looks really nice and clean. You don't see the fleece right away, but inside you're like so cozy in it. So I really, really love this sweater. Last top to show you guys before we switch to pants. I think this might be my favorite thing of the entire haul. This is a long sleeve turtleneck, which I've never owned before. It's in this nice white color. It's so comfortable. It fits perfectly. I'm so happy when I saw this on the website. I was like instantly add to cart because what says more Canadian spring than a cropped turtleneck, right? Right. So I think this is amazing to wear with jeans, with sweatpants. I just know I'm gonna be wearing this a ton. I think even with shorts, that could make a cool look while it's still a little bit chilly outside. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I really, really like this. I would say it's more of a mock neck actually than a turtleneck, but it just looks so cute and flattering and it's actually perfect with these jeans. Like this is the perfect outfit, walking the dog, going to the farmer's market, going to grab a coffee. You put some white sneakers on, like bam, you're done. <laughs> We are gonna switch to pants now, starting with these black trousers, which I actually own these in brown. You would have seen them in my last Princess Polly haul, and I love the brown ones so much. I wanted to get them in black. I actually sized up one with these. The brown ones fit me perfectly. 
on an empty stomach, but when I eat, I find they're a little bit tight. These ones fit how I like it, like actually loose. Um, the only thing is they're really long. So you guys can see, I definitely need to get these hemmed, but otherwise they're a really good fit uh, everywhere else. So I really like them. It's an easy hem to just get them shortened a little bit. It's crazy how much between a size four and a size six, the length varies. Um, but I don't mind getting them hemmed at all. And you guys can see I've got my hands in my pockets. They've got awesome pockets. I love these pants so much. They look so good with a variety of tops, even sweaters, you name it. Next up are these black pants. You guys will be able to see better in the picture because it's kind of hard to show here. They have a flared leg at the bottom, not too flared. They're perfect in length. I feel like they fit me really nice in the butt and throughout. They kind of have like a sweatpants or a yoga pants feel, but what really makes them special is this waistband. You guys can see it's like all ruched here and it has a tie. And what I saw the models doing on the website was they undid the bow and they tied the straps kind of up like that. I think on me, I'm not sure if I'm gonna like that. <laughs> but I like how it looked on them. I'd probably have to make this smaller, make this go down a bit, which we're entering into low rise territory here, you guys. I don't know if I can do that, especially with my belly button piercing. I'll look like I'm from the movie 13, but uh, you know, maybe for an Instagram baddie type of picture and then I'm gonna button it right back up. <laughs> Okay, so the low rise didn't necessarily work, but I really do like them otherwise. It's funny because the ruche right here is right in the area that I'm most insecure about, which is like my lower belly. Um, but I feel like having this kind of here like just makes it look, like sometimes when something is too tight, I get really insecure. I feel like, you know, my stomach's sticking out or whatever, um, just being super real with you guys. But I feel like having this, detailing here and the crinkling, it kind of makes me feel a bit more confident. So I really like these pants, yay! I wasn't sure if I was gonna like them, honestly. I got them and I was like, this could be hit or miss, but they look really good. They also have them in brown, which could be something to consider. So these next pants were ones I took a bit of a risk on as well. And they are a bit more on the low rise side than what I'm typically used to. And it's funny because they have this kind of keyhole here that shows my belly button piercing, but I actually really like these. They're definitely a step out of my comfort zone. Unlike the other pants, these are more of a dress pant material. They're a little bit tighter and less like stretchy than the last ones I showed you. And these ones, same thing. You can do that like tie up look. Um, and I think I like it better with these. This just looks a little bit less like, I don't know, this looks better. It's just funny with my belly button ring. Again, I'm like in the movie 13. But you know what, you guys? It's fun to step out of your comfort zone sometimes, kind of giving euphoria vibes. I don't know. And they're a flare again. These ones are actually a bit of a bigger flare than the last one. So you have two kind of similar options depending on what you prefer. Other thing about these pants I would say though is they're pretty tight in the thigh. So if you have bigger thighs, you might find these really tight on you. I find them a little bit tight. Um, still fit luckily, but yeah, just be careful if you're shopping for those. I think what I have on right now might be my favorite outfit of uh, this entire haul. I don't know, comment below which one is your favorite. So you guys, that's a wrap on the haul portion of this video. Wait, I have two more things to show you. I got two claw clips as well. I really like their selection of claw clips on Princess Polly. So I got this one here. It's like an orangey yellow and pink. So cute for summer. And then this one is just kind of a timeless one. It's a little bit smaller, which is actually perfect for me because I have short hair. But if you wanted to do a half up as well, that's like a nice size for a half up, half down. So these two clips are super cute and I love so I I still love the claw clip clip up trend and I make it work with my short hair. It's funny actually, the last time I filmed a Princess Polly haul was last summer and I had really, really short hair. So I couldn't even get my hair up in a clip. I could only do a half up. Now I can do a full, but my hair is still pretty short. So up until now, I showed you guys everything, just trying them on kind of with whatever, but I wanted to show you guys some of my older favorite pieces from Princess Polly and how I would integrate them 
with these new pieces to show you guys like some outfits and really show like what I'm planning on wearing this spring. So we're gonna head over to my mirror in a second and I'm gonna just show you the full outfits quickly and I hope you will like that part of the video. But let me give a shout out first to my tried and true pieces from Princess Polly. The first one is, like I said, this sportif and relax crop top with the indented front, let's call it. I got two other muscle type tees. These have been worn through and through. I love them so much. You guys can really tell I love the high neck look. Even like when I wear sports bras or anything, high neck, it's gotta be for me. Um, they still have these tops available on Princess Polly as well. Got them in two colors. I have two schoolgirl skirts from Princess Polly that are definitely gonna be showing themselves this spring when it gets a bit warmer, even with tights. I really like how these look with tights. And you guys, this last thing might be my favorite thing from Princess Polly of all time. I have to give it a shout out, is this sweatsuit. This is the Sports Even Relax sweatsuit set. I almost ordered another one because I love it so much and I got a stain on the pants of these and then I was like, Zoe, you don't need two of them. Like two identical sweatsuits is too much, but these are my favorite and they're still available on the site. So I wanted to show you guys. So this is the first outfit I put together. It's very schoolgirl and I honestly love it. This is with the black skirt that I had from before. The turtleneck, which I just realized I was filming this whole time with makeup on it. That is my fault. Um, that's kind of embarrassing. And then of course this cardigan. And I like how it's kind of cropped underneath. I feel like I could open it up and it would look really cool. And I would totally wear these with some semi-opaque black tights and high socks and white sneakers. This is what it looks like opened up. Very scandalous schoolgirl. I just put on the high neck black top with this. I think this would be a little bit more nighttime again with the black tights and I would wear this with black booties with like a little heel and a black bag. I think that would be really cute for like an ish casual dinner. I would totally wear this. Here is a black on black look that I love. Because these are a bit looser and they sit more high-waisted, I like how there's just a little sliver of skin. It's not super crop top. I think this looks really good and it's really, really comfortable. So you could definitely do like a day to night with this. Like I would sit down and work all day in this outfit and then have a little bag. I would love to do like a colored bag with this. I have like a little green bag. That would be perfect. Um, and you could wear this with heels or booties, sneakers during the day. <laughs> Don't forget your dog to accessorize. So I wanted to see how it would look wearing both of the pieces with the strings and I really like how they look together. It's very casual and like work from home approved, but you could totally wear this out for dinner with like booties again and like a nice bag. Um, but I totally just see myself wearing this literally tomorrow to work from home. It feels so cute. <laughs> We're gonna step over the dog here. So speaking of work from home, this is the perfect work from home outfit with the nice sweater over top to keep me warm while I'm stuck at my computer. And then underneath, we have the nice crop top with these pants. Honestly, these pants are so comfortable. I'm probably going to wear the living heck out of them. And I think I like it better open like this. What do you guys think? Oh my gosh, this next outfit, you guys, is pretty out there, but I would totally wear this. This is the kind of thing that I would wear and my boyfriend would be like, what the heck are you doing? But I think it's cute and it's very spring and summer, very sporty tennis vibes. I next wanted to show you guys how I would wear these with sweatpants, all of these different tops. I really, really like this cream and green combination. I next put them on with this tiny top. I think this looks really cute. It's like kind of a combination between dainty with this neckline, but super, super casual as well. And this top in the summer, <laughs> definitely not in the next few months here, but in the summer with sweat shorts would be so perfect. Okay, you guys, obviously I'm wearing something different now, but 
that is a wrap on this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I had so much fun filming it. Thank you so much to Princess Polly for sending me all of these amazing clothes. Thank you to you guys, as always, who make it possible. I'm living my dream and it's thanks to you guys. So thank you so much. I hope you liked this haul, got some inspiration for some fun spring outfit ideas, maybe even with basics that you already have in your closet that you can recreate these looks with. So if you wanna shop on Princess Polly, which of course I recommend, I love their stuff. I've spent my own money on their stuff. They are simply amazing. You've got the prepaid duties and taxes. You can shop in your own currency. It's wonderful. And don't forget, you can get 20% off with my code. So that's a wrap on this video, you guys. Thank you again for watching. I love you so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.